kick back, unwind, and enjoy a rare find. Today, we have 12 rare finds. Rare finds number one is this All Striker from G.I. Joe, it's from 1985 and it has seen better days, the wheels go independent of each other, probably not a great application in the real world today and there's bits of meat broken and all kinds of stuff, but hey, pretty cool to find out there and it was, I guess it was like five bucks because I got a bunch of stuff together. I'm going to show you what the other stuff that I found was. In that lot I found three pieces of a Devastator. There was a bin with a bunch of building toys and stuff and Devastator was just hanging out in the bottom and I'm not sure exactly which pieces they are but there are five of them and these are some of them. So here's the thing, here's the back of a pickup truck or pickup truck, back of a dump truck. Here's the front of the bulldozer I guess or whatever is going on there. The next two things from that $10 lot were these 1974 Fisher-Price toys and I had a few of these. I really liked the Spaceman. I think I had the Spaceman when I was younger. I really liked him because I was into space and the shuttle and all that stuff. This guy, I'm not really sure who that is. He's a certain guy. Let me know his name down in the comments. And the last thing from that little hole was this uh, Muscle Man. It's been a long time since I've seen a Muscle Man out there in the wild. I used to have a ton of these things when I was a kid but I ended up selling them all on eBay quite a few years ago now right before I bought my car. Okay, next rare finds. We have two vintage Star Wars figures. Pretty rare to find these. Out at the flea market, then we got a Luke Bespin over here. This is a um, figure I never had as a kid. And then we have a Hoth Rebel Soldier over here. And I have, how many do I have now? I have five other Star Wars figures in total, so this is going to be, one of them was my Bib Fortuna from when I was younger, and the rest were not, so I have six that I found out in the wild. Next up we have a Rare Finds episode standard, would not be complete without it. It's a Blockbuster DVD rental is for Alias Season 2, and I've never actually seen this show ever. A lot of these Blockbuster DVD rentals I've never seen before. Actually, we have some Alias Season 1 and Season 2 up in this one. That's pretty cool. Okay, and as always, we have the VHS tapes for last. We have two of them. Let's check them out. First one is Halloween H2O, and I don't think I've ever seen this Halloween one before. And I just got it because it was Halloween. Always collectible and desirable. Well, I don't know about this movie, but... I'll, um, yeah. The last couple Halloweens I've seen that were older ones I was not really a big fan of, but I mean, I'll watch it. And the last rare find is... It's a blank tape, but this is a pretty older one, and it has... It's a pretty heavy-duty tape, so maybe it's... Maybe it's from the 80s, and I'm hoping it's got some cool commercials, or it might have something on there that I don't want to see. Well, that's it. And remember, like Indiana Holmes always says, keep up the grind, and you'll get a rare find.